by the way, we're on the performance set, but we're not singing. I just want you to know that. <laughs> Unless their motorcycles sing, that would be the difference. I'm joined by Tim Ryan, Chris Zorich, and Tony Rice. The 1988 undefeated national champion Notre Dame football team, you're all a part of it. It's been that many years, Tony. Can you believe it's been that many years? You know what? It's been so many years that, like, you always want to be the last team to go out in style. And here we are, still the last team. But they had other opportunities to do that. But, uh, again, like, I'm a big Notre Dame person, and I want Notre Dame to succeed in everything they do. And it's like, from these ashes, Notre Dame will rise again. We will rise again someday, hopefully soon. Chris, you feel, is it good to come back home all the time here? Well, it's always good to come back. Um, the hardest thing, and I'm sure I'm going to speak for these guys, is we, we've been so close. And although we enjoy being members of the 88 team, it, it's been like 90 years, right? So it seems we, like it doesn't. We I know. actually want them to win again. So, you know, it, it is fun coming back. Um, but we, we would love for them to win again. Tim, which, as, as you look and, and go to games, the stadiums that we played, the stadium we played in was much smaller. Now it's so much bigger. And yet the enthusiasm a lot of times gets lost in really big stadiums, not here at Notre Dame. Do you notice that? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, when they built the new stadium, obviously it wasn't one of those mega 100,000 seat types of deal, but it set, it kind of stayed, you know, stayed in context to the university and the fan base and such. And, you know, on the field, it was always one of the loudest places to be. So, you know, I think they did a nice job. I'm going to teach, you, I'm going to teach you how to hold a microphone. It's, you can't really have it out here like this. <laughs> He's an offensive lineman. You have to be careful. You've got to be careful. He's an offensive lineman. Watch this. You ready? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm ready. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> I already know I what's going to happen. Time ago. I already know what's going to happen. offensive lineman. Can you catch? <laughs> You know, it's it. Uh, what we're doing right now is just part of the reason why we love being here at this university. Oh. It's a family. Let's go on to something else before I get hit. Um, I Chris, tell me it. about tell me about the Riding Irish. Uh, and how did it start? It's uh, really actually he's a person. You're who started about to it. see the Running Irish. That's me getting out of here. Tim does that. Go ahead. Uh, um, <laughs> um, Tim's a person who wound up getting the first bike. Um, and then I actually, uh, I got mine and then Tony got his, but just kind of a small, small story. He got his, uh, I finally got mine, but I didn't tell him. So I was going to surprise him. I brought it over and he had just sold his bike like a week early. So it was. Like, well, you, and he, he hadn't said anything about liking to ride or, you know, anything like that. And all of a sudden he's like, I've got a Harley. And I'm like, I just got rid of it. And I've had it for years and such, but. I mean, it worked out because as a result, we started going to Sturgis and then the circle just expanded mm -hmm. with, you know, either teammates and or. When did you get yours after? Well, we don't, we know, <laughs> we know Tim had his and he got rid of it. Chris got his. Now, Tim had, we had to get another one, right? Okay. No, no, no I just ride with you, Chris in the circle. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see the two of you on a bike together. <laughs> is that the heavy Harley? Is that what that is called? That's, why we didn't That's ride the together. new one. It's called a tractor. It's called a tractor. <laughs> Holding on together. When yeah. did you get yours? Well, it's so funny story. I think I had my bike maybe four years before I. Um, I got my license four years before I got my bike and everything. And then everything started to collect. I was like, okay, I want to start. So the first night uh, my bike was delivered to me, I called Chris over. And Chris came over and was like, I was afraid to ride it in front of him. So I let it sit there for a little bit and everything for three hours. <laughs> and let Chris, when Chris left, I rode my bike. And I say, I just want to let him know I got a bike, a Harley now. But now, you know, everything goes at plan and people connect on, they come on. But it's been fun. Life is great. But you you all ride in a certain order. I mean, this is a very, <laughs> even if it's three, if it's a very organized ride. Am I correct? Oh, now, yeah. Who, who's, the, who's the lead dog? Not me. No, no, no. He's no, a quarterback. No. Come on. No, they, they yes, quarterback, you are. Exactly. You know exactly. Touches so they have the, you out front. Yes. Quarterback touches the ball every time. Right. Oh, here we go. He's Other than the center, here we go. the quarterback go. is the next guy in line. In this case, I'm a bird dog. <laughs> bird dog, I want to drop the, what's the name? Really block the traffic of all these guys <laughs> to make sure they're okay. Now, you're in the middle. Uh, you're, yeah, in this, this situation, In this situation, yes. you are, and then you, Chris you, is always you organize everything? 
I just have to make sure that, that we are going in the right place. But you actually do that from the back. So that's uh, where you steer everybody basically. from the back. Now, yes. from what I understand, you sort of lay out a plan. You have a spreadsheet. Make sure everybody's going where they're supposed to go. Am I my research correct? Yes, it is. Yes, okay. It is. So Sometimes you have to audible. And that's when I come in. That's where you come that's in? That's when I come in. You have the audible plays and, like, listen, this person's not writing right, so I'm going to go ahead and go in between, block the traffic, and make sure everything's taken care of. <laughs> however, however, <laughs> he's no longer our navigator because he tried to do that a couple times, and it didn't work out. We wound up ending up in the wrong place. So he does not have that responsibility anymore. <laughs> listen, it's a work you. in progress. They're, they're, called the, they're called the riding Irish and one with an arm to throw a, a, a mic at people. 